Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another mailbag for you. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today I have another mailbag for you. I'm pretty excited here. I've got some items I uh, I just ordered recently, and let's let's dig in and see what we've got. So let's go ahead and start with this small package. This I ordered from Amazon. I forget the pricing on this. I should really remember to look this up before I go on camera. Conveniently, there was an invoice: a buck seventy-five. This is a macro fisheye lens for cell phones. This is going to be for a future build video. We're going to put this on the front of the Hubson quadcopter. So uh, yeah, it should work out pretty good. Hopefully, uh, this should significantly expand our, our field of vision. And uh, well, let's see if it works. For our next package here, this one should be some parts for my Solidoodle printer. I ordered these right from the manufacturer in New York. Uh, my printer is officially down for the count right now, so I need these pretty bad to get that thing back up and running. Let's get rid of the box here and see what we've got. What I got is a bell kit. Uh, I think this was about eight bucks and nine bucks, something like that. This is the piece that I really need. So hopefully, within this should be my solution to my woes, or at least a temporary one. This is a new hot end, complete for my Solid Oodle Two. Uh, this. Ooh, that is significantly different than the original. Um, that is a completely different heater block. Way nicer. But the rest is the same. So as long as this nozzle extension is the same, we should be good to go, which it should be. Um, what happened is mine got a really, really bad clog. And uh, I wanted to go with the E3D new hot end uh, that you can order and retrofit. I already printed the mount. I kind of was thinking ahead, but I don't want to do that right now. I just don't have the time to deal with the firmware, so I figured this would be a quick and dirty solution whereby uh, I can just mount this as a complete unit or undo these two uh, nuts, which I don't understand why everyone else has trouble. I can undo them on mine. You just stick a screwdriver in there and hold the head, but uh, we'll see and you just pop the new one, you just slide it in and should be good to go. This acrylic one is pretty much junk. And then this was a complete afterthought. But the Z-axis on my printer has always been a problem. I have a bent Z lead screw on my Solid Oodle. It's been that way since day one. Uh, you can do uh, finer pitch thread retrofits, but uh, I was ordering anyway, so I thought, hey, I'll take my chances, we'll get an entirely new unit with Stepper, and we'll see if that uh, comes out a little better than my original. Uh, hopefully, I should be able to get some better prints, but uh, yeah. So this is the one that I was really excited about, guys. I'm hoping that I can start to do some higher quality videos for you. I got the Audio-Technica Lavalier Microphone and this should enable me, hopefully, to do much better audio on my videos. Um, the video part I'm working on, I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've got some different lighting in here. Um, working on a lot of improvements this year, uh, I really want to step up the quality of my videos. and. Uh, I have to throw a thank you out all you guys that are that have subscribed, all my new subscribers and the ones that have been there all along, really throwing out their support. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. You guys are great. So, what I did is I took I got a check from Google this month for some Google AdSense earnings, and I put it right back into this. So, uh, 
hopefully this should work out good. We'll uh, we'll try it out in the next video, and I'll, I'll get it hooked up. Uh, I'm videotaping on my Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, uh, cell phone. I'm going to switch over to a dedicated video camera. I don't have a really good one, but we're going to give it a try. Uh, but in the interim, I'm going to try putting this right into the phone and see if that steps up the audio. Uh, just for a video or two, then we're going to do a bigger switch. This I've had for several years now. This is the Zoom H4n Handy Recorder. Uh, this is a really, really high quality digital audio recorder. This was quite expensive when I bought it. What I used it for was doing uh, ultrasonic recordings um, for electrical systems, for listening for corona effect and, and other things. Uh, I also recorded a bunch of uh, bats in the backyard. If you guys are interested, throw a comment down in the bottom and I'll throw up a video of some of the recordings and sonograms I made using this with my own homemade microphones, actually. Uh, of course, on this channel, we've got to have it DIY, right? So if you're interested, uh, I can do a video on that, but we're going to integrate this and this, step up the quality of some audio for you guys, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it takes the videos to the next level. Thanks guys for watching. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that, give that thumbs up button uh, a hit if you enjoyed this video. Really appreciate it. Thanks guys.